Here, you watch in the studio for. I have here what is called a Gaussian rifle. Let's get just two dowels glued together that creates a ridge on which magnets and ball bearings can travel along. Take take two dowels, which are these wooden poles here, glue them together. I just put bricks on each end so that to keep them in place while the glue dried. You want to put these square ma magnets uh, in between the ridges. Square magnets work the best because they can fit in the ridge. I just have this circular one here because I ran out of square magnets. How, how this contraption works is uh, I hit a ball, throw a ball d down this way and then it hits into here which moves the ball down here moves the furthest ball down here which moves the next ball next ball next ball so is a buildup of energy down the line when i made this i was wondering whether there's a buildup of energy did an experiment to find out whether there was and it, it turned out that there was but it's only by a little bit having four or five magnet stations like i have here it's it's not very powerful at all. Uh, a demonstration. Yeah, it's, it's pretty weak, so you probably would need something like 50 magnet stations or so to make a legitimate shoot. It's not something I would recommend making, but if you want to try to make it, go ahead. Who knows? Maybe there's something that can be added to it. That'll make it a lot better than like some kind of hypercharged energy station. A couple of tips on this thing if you are going to make it. You want the spacing between the magnet and, and the last ball bearing to be as much as possible so that it's attracted to the magnet weakly and it'll shoot down the line with more force. And uh, it's not the number of ball bearings that affects how strongly it's attached to the magnet is the total amount of spacing that the ball bearings give you that affects it. Big ball bearings and four of them in line so that gives the last ball bearing a weak attachment so that way it can shoot down strongly more momentum down the line. However many ball bearings you want to put in between each magnet station you'll have to have at least that much space in between them the magnet stations are more so that way you can fit them in there otherwise they won't fit another thing is the momentum of the ball bearings the bigger the ball bearings are the more mass they have and thus the more momentum you want to get bigger ball bearings as, as i've said before I, I i don't recommend making this but you can if you want to feel free to experiment with this come up with your own ideas and I will have links in the description to this, this type of creation here and other kind of magnet creations. Vestigio full out. Check out Zen magnets. People made some pretty interesting creations with them.